What's going on everybody, Ero and Night 4 being another action figure review. Today we're looking at the Dragon Ball Super Dragon Stars final figure in the Series 2. This is Goku, regular hair Goku. So, pretty much the same exact figure as before, just a regular hair and some different paint. They did change the paint at least, it ain't just slap on a head, so that's good. We have two pieces to share around to finally complete them, and then we have two extra hands right there. So there's the front of the box, the side of the box. I like the box overall, it's pretty nice. Here's the back. Got some good good pictures here. Rest of the wave. I don't know if they're going to continue on. What's going to be on Series 3. That'd be interesting to see. And if they're going to continue on with the build figure. That'd be also be interesting to see. So without further ado. Let's crack them out. Alright guys. There we have Goku out of package. And I got to say. He is probably my least favorite one in the in, in the Series 2. So as much Gokus that we get already. We've already gotten two in this line. So imagine all the Gokus we're going to get. Uh, next line. I'm sure we're going to get a Goku every single wave, possibly. But uh, here he is. The The head sculpt could be better. That's probably why I, I dislike him uh, a little bit. Uh, but the paint is actually better than the original release. They kind of did a little bit of a SH figure art to move here. So right off the bat, here is the first uh, series Goku here. So they did the light yellow, just like the first release of Goku for SH Fate Horse was the light yellow. And then when they did the normal hair Goku, they brought him with this orange, just like the SH Fate It's funny, I don't know why they did that, but they did exactly the same thing. So there's the two different colors on orange. Uh, and I like, of course, the black hair orange a lot better. But, you know, they're both pretty good. Nonetheless, so there they are next to each other. Same sculpt, same everything, just different paint and different head. Alright, so there they are next to each other. You can see the face is a little bit better. And and there you go. What's pretty funny is that you guys are able to swap out heads. So it still brings the question. And the skin tones match pretty much perfectly. So I just swapped the heads here. And look at that. You know, almost like... The, give us the head swap instead of a new figure, right? I don't want to pay 20 bucks for another head, you know? So... Anyways, there's that. You can swap out the heads if you guys want to. But, of course, they want to uh, bank as much as they can on the mold. So, they, they re-release the, the mold with a different head. So, you guys can get the Elon Super Saiyan head. You know, everyone does it, I guess. But Alright, so Goku comes with the, the two fists. And they also, he also comes with two open hands as well. So, that's uh, pretty much basic. They're, they're all coming like that. So, Anyways, articulation-wise, exactly the same as the Super Saiyan version. We've got the head on a ball joint, so it goes left and right. There's no hinge on it, but he still has a good, little bit decent motion of up and down. Arm goes forward and back, in and out. There's a bicep swivel. There's a double-jointed elbow. Swivel at the wrist with a hinge. There is a waist swivel that goes forward and back and swivels. Let's go forward and back. They go in and out. SH figure art style, so that's cool. Thigh swivel. Uh, double-jointed knees look like that. Ankles go forward and back. There's a pivot and there's a swivel. So there is your articulation for Goku. All right, and as we all know, once we complete him, he does come with the last two pieces. We do have uh, Shenron. So there's Shenron. I'm going to go ahead and get the whole line here together since we have finally completed the line. And since this has been quite the quick review, not to make it any longer, but anyways, so here is, we're going to put series one right on the left all right so there we have them both together there so series one is on the left there and then series two is on the right so well i guess they're all part of the same wave right they all build the same figure so um but they kind of divided them two into two separate waves so but anyways there they are decent decent figures guys seriously decent decent figures they're definitely be better than Irwin and jack specific so there's that and um, they're definitely not better than figure arts, so there's that too. You're paying a lot less, so uh, you get here uh, decent figures for 20 bucks. Not bad. Maybe wait for a little bit of a clearance if you guys don't want to pay 20 But um, if you guys don't like them, then go for figure arts because figure arts still reign supreme. They're, they're still the king of DBZ figures, in my opinion. They had they make the best. So, but overall, these are a good group of figures here. So there's the there's the whole entire. Uh, line right here so far and, and we'll see where this line goes from here so very interested to see once again hope you guys uh enjoyed the video hit that like button if you did enjoy the video hit the bell if you guys want to get notified of my future uploads and hit the subscribe button if you guys are not subscribed already with that said i hope you guys keep collecting and don't forget to have a great day bye <laughs>